What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video and uh, yeah Today we're going to uh, yeah do a review of uh, since, I was kind of, since I was kind of done with uh, yeah, for the moment with uh, CG books etc CG related books because uh, yeah, I came across the same problem over and over again decent art but uh, not so not so good hit or miss writing I decided to get into yeah kind of a new kind of yeah expand my horizons a bit and uh, review an, uh, an indie comic by a fellow Dutchie this is called uh, A New Dawn Lauts it's an uh, indie comic re released uh, by uh, Lautzian or uh, Kimi Comics and uh, yeah it's kind of uh, we call it uh, a queer coming to age uh, fantasy story sounds weird yeah. why the hell would you even read this well I might I might sometimes use uh, certain words etc but uh, I have no problem with people who are lesbians or gay whatever whoever they share the bedroom with is not my concern as long as they uh, don't try to push uh, it's too much in my face and uh, yeah just behave like uh, normal people like individuals and uh, don't uh, yeah, use it to uh, yeah, antagonize other f other people that might uh, agree or disagree with you but, uh, yeah that's basically my take I have no problem with them I, w I even work with some uh, yeah people who were uh, were gay or who could be considered yeah even though yeah we can cons we considered uh, yeah with a uh, partner of the same uh, sex so uh, yeah so yeah like I said Usually it's not my type of stories, but uh, I like to expand my horizons once in a while and uh, see what uh, they can do. And uh, Laozian or Kimi Comics is uh, one of them. And uh, yeah, what it's about is it's a nice bookmark. Got a glass of water ready. What basically is is an, uh, before I I'm first going to take a sip of water. Basically, story about an uh, yeah, about an elf slash uh, yeah creature named uh, Kristoff, which uh, yeah, put down uh, the door of a house as an, which uh, yeah, basically um, an orphan which left at the doorsteps, and uh, yeah, his uh, adopted father yeah, takes him in. They ask where the mother is. And the father is named Livorn. Who asks uh, where his uh, mother is, but the mother is nowhere to be found. And uh, yeah, eventually uh, he realized that he has certain power. That he has, uh, yeah, Christoph. Ten years later, realized he has certain, uh, yeah, power. He knows how to talk to, uh, how to heal and talk to animals. And uh, yeah, his adopted mother. He goes from picnic with his adopted mother. And uh, or father. And uh, but his father is completely overprotective of him when he wants, but he wants to take control of his own life. Beasts are dangerous. Go to your room and don't come out until dinner is ready. So boy, I warned you so many times. When uh, yeah, it's basically nothing uh, happening. He was just talking to uh, birds, healing them, and other kinds of creatures. And he he never lets let him have his way. And yeah, that's the problem where he eventually comes to. Uh, or basically every child comes to tur turns eventually. You have a good ha you have good food. You have nice clothes, a warm bed, a roof above your head. But uh, and yeah, this kind of remind this kind of reminds me of uh, when uh, yeah. And I'm currently uh, moving in between places when I wanted to get out of the house, but due to yeah the housing crisis that my country uh, faces right now, it took me quite a while that that to uh, yeah get my own place to live. So yeah. Even though he is, uh, he's kind of a uh, yeah, he's a queer character. I have no problem with it. There are some thi things you could relate to. At least he wants to. He has a good boot, nice clothes, but he wants to run away. He wants to be his be his own uh, man. That's something. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful line art, etc. And uh, yeah, he wants to keep the animals. No, absolutely not. Basically, the father doesn't let him have anything, and yeah, he uh, walk, tries to run away, and uh, yeah, 
comes across some kind of yeah guys like line like being and uh, yeah and he enjoys his uh, solitary confinement in the forest with uh, yeah with the animals the ceremony he wants to be the ceremony and yeah he is uh to the ceremony and uh yeah they ask him why the letter didn't come in he what waits him he took care of it and uh yeah basically father doesn't want him to let to let him go out in the real world because it's too dangerous out there and it's where you're safe and he made his favorite dish to celebrate but even that uh does seem to uh and other other puffs that are not his favorite it's kind of food his uh his, his uh thing hurts and uh eventually doing the ceremony he, uh, some kind of uh, yeah priest kind of being but well yeah shows uh, the gem that uh could give him a chance at adventure and freedom and basically get him the hell out of here and uh the cat uh There's a brace to uh, yeah, the ceiling. And uh, Christoph uses this as a uh, distraction to grab the, to grab the yeah, the and the and the gem, and make his way into the portal. And uh, yeah, get the hell out of there. Basically, this is the prologue for uh, yeah, other things to come. And uh, yeah, that's basically the end of the prologue to be continued with a rising sun. So, uh, and yeah, this is uh, done. This and this uh, this uh, splash explains uh, the title, a new dawn for Kristoff. Finally, getting out of his uh, parents' house. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you for uh, reading. You can find her here on Twitter, Loud Outsian, or Kimi Comics, and Instagram. I think it's an old one, I think, but I'm not sure. And uh, yeah. Here's some favorite panels. I absolutely agree that this is her favorite panel. The pose is most dyna is dynamic indeed. And uh, yeah. And a little sketch. And I just put a sketch under there and uh, yeah. Impressive. How it all started, how she how she got all started, and uh, yeah. And yeah, it kind of reads like a DD uh walking out of a D D campaign, but uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, she explains a little bit about how the characters were created, etc. And uh, yeah, when she was telling how to, she put, and uh, yeah, she flipped through the playbook handbook and yeah, saw the, the drawing next to the light cleric and uh, she made one to play him. But uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, she thought the backstory is uh, yeah wasn't the best, but yeah. And uh, yeah, eventually that's how Christoph was born. It comes out here. There's a uh, yeah, he loves books and monsters, but yeah, this is first time. But there's a backstory behind it that he uh, why he loves them so much and how he could talk to them or at least uh, heal them. It's to a certain degree. and he's from the Feywild, so uh, yeah, this and yeah, this is our first gun, <laughs> and it's that originally Pat Ferret, <laughs> pretty hilarious. The character sheets, the mate father Christoph himself and uh, yeah alternate outfits art wise it's uh, it's not too overcomplicated it's quite uh, yeah, simplistic in certain areas kind of inspired by the D&D and yeah, use some manga elements and uh, yeah the character outfit sketches I could learn a thing or two from them they're pretty decent and yeah the funny sketches <laughs> even though it's part of that and uh, here's a bit of storyboard that she put in there. And uh, yeah. And here she finds out where he has special powers. And uh, yeah. See where, the, where it's being held. And uh, yeah. Where the cat breaks through the ceiling. And here's a bit about the writer herself. Lautzian slash Kimi Comics. And she's recently graduated uh, art stu student. Not rec so recent anymore. And uh, yeah. Yeah, and this is basically yeah her uh, fi her final internship, 
what she uh, basically creates for a final internship. And uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, she gives a little bit of background for where she comes from, etc. And it's pretty nice. And uh, yeah, she gives a thank you. This is the pro, and uh, yeah, like I expect, you kind of expected. This is a prologue of tw to 24 pages with some uh, extra info in it. And uh, yeah, she even drew a special doodle for me and uh, others. And uh, put my name on the back. This is my true name, AJ Hodes. There should be points in between, but that's um, that's not important. What's important is uh, the, s the story and the, ar and the art. Art-wise, it's uh, yeah, like I said, it's not the most uh, realistic or complicated art. It is quite simplistic in certain areas, but uh, there's no doubt that she has uh, that uh, Kimi Comics slash Lautzian has talent for it, and uh, she knows how to create a a pretty decent uh, prologue. Genre-wise and story-wise, these type of coming-to-age queer kind of things aren't really my thing because yeah, it doesn't always interest me, and it's harder. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's, I'm clearly not in the target audience. But uh, for a prologue and for a final internships, for a final internship, I think she uh, yeah. This one actually actually looks pro for what. For what it is in the genre, in, her, in the genre it's, it's written in and uh, created in, it's not really my thing. These type of coming to age stories, and yeah, it's clear that it is for a younger audience as well. But uh, for final internship, she she could be very proud that she delivered this, and uh, yeah, and, the, and certainly the writing, it's not too complicated. It's quite a simple plot. But uh, yeah, it's, it was well executed, both in writing and yeah, in art. So uh, yeah, credit where credit's due. Nice cover as well. Nice uh, bookmark of a new dawn. And then now we're going to take another sip of water. And come to the final to uh, the final verdict. And uh, yeah, overall, this is a re for a first try. And, uh, yeah, there's a message coming in. For a first try, this is pretty good. This is, uh, yeah. She could be proud if this was her final internship. She could be very proud of herself. So uh, yeah, seventy-five out of one hundred for what it is. And uh, yeah, in terms of it's not the be it's not the most uh, yeah it's detailed art. It's uh, most uh, yeah spectacular art or anything. It's, it's simplistic, but uh, she knows what she's doing, and uh, yeah, this has uh, potential to grow. It is something that. Uh, might be something for uh, yeah, not for my target audience, but for an another one as well. But uh, I can wait to read uh, chapter one once it's out. So uh, yeah, seventy-five out of one hundred. And uh, yeah, that's it. Got to go. Have some uh, yeah. Have an appointment to go to and uh, have some uh, kind of to uh, deliver. So uh, yeah. Talk to you guys later, and uh, if you want to see what I created, Jaguar Warrior Issue 1 is uh, available as a vertical scrolling webcomic on uh, the official website and on global and on global comics. You can pick uh, whatever yeah, display you want, and uh, yeah, don't forget to uh, to uh, yeah buy yourself a digital edition on uh, Global Comics or Gumroad. And uh, yeah, the fiscal is on the is on the way. It will take yeah. I try to get it done this week because I have to do some inventory for the next con. In uh, Daventer, so uh, hopefully I see you guys there. The next book that I'm going to review after this one, great job, Kimmy Comics. Is uh, this is going to be a Dutch rev Dutch review this time? Something I promised to uh, Frank Jonker, who's uh, the center, the scriptwriter of uh, Behind Max Muller and others, and also behind uh, Love the Dutch Donald Ducks. So uh, yeah, it's about. Uh, and uh, Max and two people called Max and Neva that have to go at, were on a sailing holiday in Britannia, in, Sp in, uh, Fran in uh, France. And uh, yeah, Eva's dad is uh, kind of, uh, yeah, dies during a car accident that's not really an accident. And uh, they eventually have to find uh, a blue aquamarine that, uh, yeah, that uh, has uh, presumably uh, healing properties. So uh, yeah. Can't wait to uh, yeah read this one and give my 
review in the it's going to be Dutch review, so you might need a translator for it, or to Google Translate it. Maybe you put on the yet yeah, English translations. So uh, yeah. Anyway, that's a preview for the next one. Talk to you guys later. Matane.